Idaho Commission for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Empowering blind and visually impaired Idahoans to achieve self-fulfillment by providing quality vocational rehabilitation and independent living services since 1967. Orientation and Mobility. Disclaimer, this video was produced for educational purposes only. Any individual in need of O&M instruction is strongly encouraged to contact our office at 208-334-3220. Human Guide is a technique that can be used when a blind or visually impaired person needs assistance navigating. In this video, you will learn the basics of how to use or assist another person with Human Guide. A Human Guide should always ask the person if they need assistance before offering Human Guide services. When a person offers Human Guide, they must first make contact with the person they are assisting. This can be done by the guide offering a hand or elbow to make contact with the person's hand or elbow. By doing this, the person being guided will know where their guide is and will be able to easily locate the guide's elbow. The guide should be about a half step ahead of the person they are guiding as shown in this video. When approaching a walking surface that changes elevation, such as a curb, the guide should pause for just a second to notify the person that they will be stepping up or down, then continue walking. The person being guided will be able to tell how big of a step they need to take based on how high or how low the guide's elbow goes during the transition up or down. This should also be done on the approach to street crossings or stairs. It is not uncommon for the person being guided to choose traveling up and down the stairs on their own and to begin human guide once they have reached the final landing. When walking through a narrow passageway, the guide needs to put their guide arm directly behind them so the person being guided will know they are entering a narrow passageway. The person being guided will take a cue and get directly behind the guide so they can easily walk through the narrow passageway. Examples include doorways, airplanes, movie theaters, and crowded restaurants to just name a few. The guide can also assist the person being guided to locate a chair. In this video, note how the guide walked up to the back of the chair and tapped it with his hand. By doing this, the person being guided is able to easily locate the back of the chair they might sit in. We hope this training video will help you be more confident, independent, and active in your community. We hope that you've enjoyed this presentation. For more information, please visit our website at www. Dot icbvi dot idaho dot gov or call us at two zero eight three three four three two two zero.